<laughs> In January 1936, Picasso met Dora Ma. Fiercely political, Ma was a photographer and part of the anti-fascist activist group Contre Attack. With Ma's influence, Picasso's political consciousness emerged. He painted his anti-war work Guernica the following year. This political consciousness continued into the next decade, with Picasso joining the French Communist Party in 1944. His affiliation with communism, however, was always fraught. Picasso was skeptical of the Soviet leader Stalin's influence, and while often asked by the party to create communist works in the socialist realist style, Picasso rebelliously subverted this expectation in his more loosely figurative paintings. Behind me is Picasso's painting Massacre in Korea, completed in 1951, six months after the beginning of the Korean War. Its composition references Edward Manet's series The Execution of Emperor Maximilian and Francisco Goya's 3rd of May, which condemned the violence of French colonial conquest. Like those works, here, aggressors take up one half of the painting, while victims occupy the other half. Straying from realism, Picasso has painted figures in medieval armour holding swords in a transhistorical statement against the brutality of war. Was that okay? Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs>